Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic chart ranges so that your charts will automatically update as you add or delete data from your data set. In front of me I've got a very simple data set showing stores and sales numbers. So if I were to chart this out, just selecting a normal column chart here, my, my chart looks fine the way it is, but then the problem I run into here is if I add a store, let's say I add more data, it doesn't automatically reflect on my chart. In order for that to happen, I need to click on the chart and adjust the range. I can do so by just stretching these, these endpoints out, and now you'll see the values are updated. Another drawback is if I delete data from here, you know, the range doesn't adjust. Right, you can see it's still selecting those empty values and it creates a gap on my chart. So again, unless I go back and adjust it again, it's not going to reflect on, on the chart. So the, the drawback here is that this becomes a bit of a manual process, especially if you're doing a lot of changes to your data and you need to regularly make uh, updates to your chart. Because ideally we want to make this as automated as possible. Now, there are a couple ways you can do that. The first is by converting your data into a table. So if I just select anywhere in my data set here, go to insert and then table, I'm gonna hit okay, and Excel automatically converts this into a, a table for me and applies the default formatting. So now, if I were to add data here, Excel's automatically going to expand the table knowing that because I've added data immediately below, it knows that I wanna add to the table. If I add it, you know, a couple rows down, say add G here, it doesn't pick that up. But if I added G right below the table, you know, it's going to know that I want to add to to the table, the table expands, and the chart updates as well. Now, if you're deleting data from a table, you can't just select delete, because then you're going to run into the same sort of issue. So one, you could expand the range, adjust the range again after you've done so but again you're falling back into that situation where you had to do the same thing um, with the chart another thing you could do is just select it delete table rows do that now you've properly deleted it from the table and so it updates so using a table can work um, for this purpose for allowing you to um, set up your data in a way that uh, your, your chart will automatically update you know, but let's say you don't want to use a table because you don't want to create a table every single time that you've got um, something you want to put on a chart. So I'm going to show you another way, and this is a new feature in Excel. So I'm going to copy this onto a new sheet. And so I've got my same data in here. And the, the new feature that Excel's recently rolled out is the ability to use dynamic arrays to plot your chart values. So I'll show you how you could create a, a simple array and that's by using the offset function so the offset function normally is you can use this when you want to move a certain uh, amount of rows or columns in whichever direction but you can also use it to create an array so my starting point is the reference so the cell that i'm starting at which is always going to be in the top left corner the number of rows and columns i'm offsetting is going to be zero because i don't want to move this reference i want it to stay where it is so I'm going to put 0 and 0 for the next two arguments. And then the next two are actually the most important, the height and the width, because that tells me how high I want this range to be and also how wide I want it to be. So one way you can make this really adjustable is using the count a function. And this counts the number of cells that aren't empty. So it's convenient because I can select all of column A here, and that's going to count the values in column A. And then for the width is how many columns wide I want the, de the, the data to be. And in this case, I've got two columns, so this is going to be two. So I close this out. Now I've got my array. So it looks identical to my raw da data set, but that's exactly what I want. So now if I add store F and 70, you see it's automatically updating within this array. And because it's an array, now it's possible... Uh, thanks to Excel's um, added functionality, is to put this into a chart. 
So create again the same 2D column chart. Got my values in here. But now this time, let's add more data. Now you can see the arrays updating and that's also updating the chart. Go back to H100, we've got that updating again. So if I were just to do this simple range and convert this into a 2D chart, I would have to go back and manually adjust it as I add data. But because I'm using an array to, to, to effectively copy this data, it allows me to have a dynamic chart that updates um, as I make changes. And you know, if I were to delete information from here, automatically updates as well. So it gives you the a bit of the best of the both both worlds in the sense that you know you can easily add or remove data. You don't have to worry about a table and your charts automatically updating. This is a this is a solution that I think works well and is is flexible enough that you know make makes it easy for your charts to update without having to do any any extra manual steps. The key is really just to set up that offset function, but it's it's fairly straightforward. The key thing is really you just want to count the number of rows that you want, and you want this formula to be dynamic, and that's where the count a function comes in handy. And you also want to specify um, the width of it. But once you've got that down, you can just reuse this type of formula over and over again, and you you have an, an easy way to, to update your charts. So this is a new feature that Office um, is available on Office 365 on the Insiders program right now. So it isn't rolled out to all, all Excel users just yet, but I'll leave a link in the description um, of this video, which will show you how you can also access that. You can also just type it into Google Office Insiders program. It's free of charge. And um, once you're once you're signed up for that, you'll get these and other updates as soon as they're available to Excel. So this could be a, a potentially really useful one for you if you do a lot of charts and you know it, you you don't want to have to worry about whether your data is updated on your chart by creating this array. You can always know that it's always got all your information in there.